Hi, I'm Pete Lockett. Welcome back to the next instalment of uh, basic frame drumming techniques. Uh, we've covered a lot so far, and I'm having some really good responses from people, so thank you for everyone for that. Um, we're going to begin to elaborate on ways that we can play the frame drum. Now, there are obviously lots and lots of very involved techniques, and, and you can take these instruments really as far as far as you want with the, the amount of um, knowledge and techniques that are available in hand drumming techniques across the world. But it's also possible to, you know, with a limited amount of, of technique, to be able to achieve quite a lot uh, musically. Even with the basic sounds, we've been getting some interesting rhythms so far. Um, mainly we've been using continuous 16th notes with accented and non-accented uh, patterns. But it's also possible to begin um, breaking the rhythms up so you're not playing all of the continuous 16th notes <clears throat> the whole time, you're just playing the main notes of the rhythm. I often get asked for this type of approach in the studio where people don't want a really busy pattern um, throughout the whole, you know, part of a, a tune or part of the music that I'm recording. And, and so this is another useful uh, technique to begin to uh, have some new approaches uh, to the drum or different approaches to the drum. So if we look at example one, um, we've got a very, very, um, a very simple pattern and it involves the bass tone and the, the high tone. And it's a very simple rhythm. Now also notice um, the, the fingering, right, right, left, left, right. It's kind of following the way that I would play that pattern if I was playing all of the 16th notes. Without the 16ths. Kind of adds a little bit of space uh, into, the, uh, into the rhythm. So let's look at example two, where we're going to make that twice as long, but the second op open bass tone will become a slap tone. Now, for a more detailed analysis of the slap stroke, look back at last month's uh, lesson where I look at that uh, in detail. Now, let's hear that rhythm as if I was playing continuous sixteenths. And without. We can hear that that could be, in some situations, uh, be slightly cleaner uh, for a recorded uh, purpose, particularly where there wants to be a, a repetitive groove or a continual sort of trance-like uh, groove uh, playing. Let's look at example three. And again, this is what that would sound like with continuous sixteenths. So we 
notice that the last accent there, I'm playing with the right hand, but on the written example, and what I played when it was the, um, the, just the basic notes uh, being, being played, um, that came on the left hand. Because we're not playing the continuous sixteenths, we have the space to be able to play at the end with a little uh, small gap. So let's look at example five, which takes us back a little bit to some of the uh, three, three, two patterns um, that we had a little bit earlier um, in the series. So the basis of this actually is, is this pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the six. So we've got six, six, four, or three, three, two, involving the bass tone and the slap. Example seven. is probably the closest rhythm that we've got to anything uh, even mildly uh, idiomatic uh, in the series and you can really see from this rhythm the benefits of playing without all of the continuous sixteenths and this type of approach um, would be often used by the supporting drummers in, in an Arabic ensemble so you know, people playing some of the uh, mazurs and different larger frame drums supporting maybe a, a solo darabuka or um, different uh, solo drum in, in the context of the music and they would very rarely play all of the sixteenths they would often play it stripped down in the way that we're looking at in this lesson. So let's look at example eight. So we can see there by using some very open and slow notes and the faster combination of notes with this um, you know, type of technique, um, we can get some quite interesting sounding uh, rhythms. So let's look at example 
9. Finally, we'll look at example 10, which is using the, the three note pattern um, in sequence. So we have three, 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 two, two. So that's it for this time. Hope you've enjoyed this amazing drum, the frame drum, on, uh, on another leg of our uh, amazing journey of frame drumming. What we can see so far is with the, the small basic units and a few basic sounds, we can already make some interesting and, and quite elaborate sounding and funky uh, rhythms. So we're gonna continue further with that next time. We're gonna take it, take it that, next, uh, that next step further. So um, hope you enjoy what you've got for this month and uh, see you next time.